Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is an example of what happens when you move your stadium on campus. A live look at Bright House Network Stadium in Orlando. Both teams on the field, warm-ups wrapping up, just about set to go from Orlando. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Network Stadium on the campus of UCF. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calorie. Enjoy everything. Both well, teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. Fielded at the four. Tackle made at the 28. Merriman's a kid that loves to play at home. He's good on the road, and he's been really cool over the years playing on the road, but sometimes you get an atmosphere like this, Kirk, and you start to wonder. Well, Brad, that's what makes college football so special. You, you get into some of these atmospheres where the home crowd can definitely be a huge advantage for that home team. Today, I think because of his experience, because of his big playability, and because he's able to stay so calm, I'd be surprised if this crowd really rattled him in this offense today. From their own 28 yard line. Second down. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. And he's tackled at the 37 yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Tries to buy some time. He's tackled around the 41-yard line. And a good decision there. Yep, he didn't have anybody open downfield. And instead of panicking and throwing the ball into coverage or maybe throwing the ball away, he had a composure to recognize the open field and had the athletic ability to get the first down. That's a nice job. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it second and six. made around the 43 yard line if this offense keeps running at this guy they're gonna have to rethink some of their play calling third down now and they need to get it inside the 49 Throw incomplete, one of his receiver. Oliver was the intended receiver on that pass. That's going to bring up fourth down. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Ferguson to punt. It's away, short punt. Not much there on that opening drive. Boy, the crowd was loud and did their part. Now if they're able to move the ball downfield, they can take control of this game early. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Pitch out, and he's taken down around the 36-yard line. The problem at times with pitch outs is they're really slow to develop. And in this case, the defense had plenty of time to swarm to the ball carrier. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on their own 36. Steps out of bounds around the 49-yard line. 
They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. Good outside run there. Great run there to get the first down. Again, the option play here is such a tough play to defend. The defense just doesn't know what the quarterback is thinking. And again, he does a nice job here to pick up the first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 45. With the pass, incomplete. Throws a bullet over the middle, and they make the stop at the 33. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. From the 33-yard line, first down. Throws this one out to the left. Makes the grab and steps out right away. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. First and ten. Ball on the 14-yard line. At about the 11. That makes it second and six. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They'll bring him down around the 14 yard line. Maney's got the first of what should be many tackles to come. He's a heck of a player, really explosive and quick, a sure tackler, as you can see on that one. And here's another third down. 117, He's wrapped up for the sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Sack makes this a fourth and very long. Three down, three down. Mark 55, Mark 55. There we go. Oh. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And they push him out just outside the goal line. First down. First and goal here. Let's see if they keep it on the ground inside the five. Touchdown, Knights. Tacks on the extra point. An 11 play, 63 yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play call on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 7 0. Oliver from the one. They'll bring him down at the 25. The Knights are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Nice run, and he's brought down. 
the second and four. Makes it out to about the 39. That makes it first and 10. He's got an opening. Brought down at about the 49. Gain of 12 yards. First down. He's at the 40. He's taken down around the 39-yard line. Here comes the pressure. He gets rid of this one. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39. Complete. He's got room. And down he goes around the 23-yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver. And the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Makes it out to about the 13. So we had a pitcher's duel in that low scoring first quarter. 7 0 UCF. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. He's tackled at the five yard line. That makes it second and two. Green nine, green nine, green nine. He laterals. to get into the end zone. There's a perfect play call. They looked like they practiced that one a few times. We'll be tied with the extra point. He makes the PAT. Ferguson ready to kick. He'll return this one from the seven. And he makes it out to about the 31 yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He's tackled around the 42 yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 42. And they'll get him in the backfield. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. Four. 
Kelly is back deep to return. <laughs> Kelly takes it at the 21. Tackle at the 29-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Tight end grab, first down, and he's got it. Tackle made right around the 44-yard line. First down. Gets it, he's in space, and he hits him hard at the 48. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. Kill, kill, kill! Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's gonna feel that one tomorrow. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Townsend waiting the return. And he just got stood up right there. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And he's tackled after positive yardage. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Central Florida will take their first time out of the half. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. Quick pass. And he's taken down at the 43-yard line. five-yard line. First down. Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. This is the eighth play of this drive. The Knights had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. throw out to the receiver and they make the stop at the 46 Crawford makes the tackle at the 46 yard line 
That'll make it third and nine. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. Gets out to about the 31. A really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think the offensive coordinator, take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Quick throw. Tackle at the 43. Getting him the ball in the passing game creates real havoc for the defense. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 43. Here's the halfback on the screen. They'll bring him down at the 47. A pickup of four on the play. It's a well-designed play to the halfback, and it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. Brought down at the 42-yard line. Dog four, green nine, green nine. Looks to him again, complete. He's taken down at about the 37-yard line. That brings him second and five. Good tackle there in space. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Black five, black five! Easy, easy! That's a great tackle at the 39. Penn State will take their last time out. So the sack makes this a second and long. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. He sails it long. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. So at the end of the half, we get a tie game at 7-7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And it's because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. <laughs> Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Very oh, close game now as we start the second half. From the seven. Tackle made at the 27 yard line. Now's when you start to approach each drive thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Freeman gets it on the inside. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. From their own 31 yard line. Second down. He gets out to about the 32 yard line. That's good for a game of one yard. That'll make it third and five. Field. I thought there was a chance 
chance he'd be brought down before getting to the marker. It was a great effort there to get beyond for the first down. From their own 39-yard line, first down. Fires to his receiver, first down. I'm really liking what I see from this guy. He's not afraid to go to the air on any down. Five-yard line. Gets out to around the 22. From the 25 yard line, it's second down. He's wrapped up for the sack. That's a loss of seven yards. That'll bring up third and long. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Throws to the tailback, incomplete. Number 28, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and long. Ross, he'd like to change field position with his punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. He's out to the 30. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. That's a game of 16. That makes it first and 10. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And down he goes at midfield. That's good for a gain of 14 yards. First down. They didn't snap the ball in time. Delayed game, offense. You got to be careful to avoid Still these. Second. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. The penalty makes it second and 15. Gets out to about the 44-yard line. That'll bring up 34. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. That makes it fourth and four. 
In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. It's away. Short punt. That was a nice little pooch kick right there. And that's why they made the decision to punt the ball right there. They wanted to pin this offense deep in their own territory. This team really trusts their defense. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. Gains his way to the 26-yard line. A gain of eight on the carry. up about four yards on the play. That'll make it second and seven. So with one quarter remaining, we're even at seven in this one. Just about set to get back to the action here in quarter number four in a tie ball game. He's to the 40. He's got an opening. He's at midfield. And he's finally shoved out at the 33. First and ten after the big run. He might have a chance. He's tackled the 21 yard line. out to about the 18-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Just a great job here by the defender of timing the hit and getting him down. And this play is number eight on the drive. Inside the 10. Tackle made at the one-yard line. and goal, fourth quarter all tied up. What's it going to be? They'll knock him down for a loss. That brings up second and goal. Tenth play of the drive. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. So here it is, tie ball game, and we're on the one yard line, third down. They come out in a goal line set. And he's taken down just outside the goal line. Gain of a yard by the fullback. Yeah. 
Kicks up, and it's wide right. No good. You've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. Less than three minutes in the game. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And they make the stop around the 25-yard line. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. Throws it in a hurry. And he tackles him hard at the 30. Gaining five on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. Mike 51. Mike 51. Easy. Five, easy. Five, five. Makes it to the 44. All the game of 14 yards. First down. Right away. Reads with the tackle at the 46 yard line. Easy, easy. That makes it first and 20. And two. Kill, kill, kill. Yellow three. Hit. Going for it all to the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown. And for Maryland. That touchdown toss gives him the team's career record in that department. Here's just another notch in what's been an outstanding career. It's sort of hard to comprehend how good he's been for so long. And he tacks on the extra point. A five-play, 79-yard drive. And the result, seven points. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. So our score, 14-7. Townsend from the six. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. The Knights have played poorly all day long. That really doesn't matter right now. When they've played sloppy. They're not going to be happy when they go back and look at the film on Monday. But with all that being said, they still have a chance to win this game. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters. We're trying to get that W. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He's going left. Great catch there before they can knock him out of bounds. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. He airs it out. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. Linebacker's had a couple years of experience, and he's really solidified himself as a reliable tackler, as you can see from that last stop. We've got second and goal. Ball on the eight-yard line. They'll bring him down right around the six-yard line. The Knights will use their first time out of the half. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. to his tight end. Nothing doing. It's fourth and goal from the five. Let's see if the defense can make a stand here. Under a minute left. He steps out around the one-yard line. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. Go nowhere, 
He's to the 10. Makes it out to about the 13. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. Central Florida will take their second time out of the half. They line up at the 13. First down. Brought down around the 23-yard line. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. The Knights, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. Two times, two times. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. the ground inside he's taken down at about the 23 yard line First down. really great game to watch both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one 14 7 Penn State For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.